Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the camera app on the new iPod Touch. So it's very similar, if not the same, to the camera app on the iPhone 4 in terms of software, but in terms of hardware these devices are very different. If we have a look at the back camera here, it is a 720p HD camera and shoots at 30 frames per second and a little pinhole next to it is actually the microphone and if we have a look at the front facing camera it is uh, not high definition it is only VGA quality but it also shoots 30 frames per second and it actually looks pretty good so in terms of hardware as I said before these are, it is very different to the iPhone 4's cameras uh, for example the back camera is, can sh take pictures at 5 megapixels but on the new iPod Touch it is actually less than 1 megapixel it basically doesn't take a picture rather it just takes a video still and I guess I can understand because the new touch is so thin and I'm not really wanting to try and get an SLR out of this thing I mean I'm just gonna use it for taking just you know random fun photos or uploading something to Facebook so if we have a look here these cameras are both fixed focus which means if you tap on the screen you'll only be changing the exposure as you can see here the brightness changes and I can tap in the top right of the corner of the screen and see the front facing camera so it is also fixed focus if I tap on different parts of the screen I can change the exposure so taking photos or video with the iPod touch is exactly the same as it is on all the iPhones while you're in picture mode you just tap the picture button here and it'll save it into your camera roll or and you can tap or slide that and it'll change to video mode and you just hit that button to start and stop recording another thing you can do with the back camera on the iPod touch is um, zooming so if I tap on that you get this little zoom bar at the bottom now since this is a fixed fo focus camera all the, fo all the zoom that you're getting on this um, is all digital zoom so if we zoom in all the way like that the results are pretty grainy so I wouldn't recommend using this iPod touch if you're trying to shoot far away objects only use it if you're trying to shoot objects that are probably only a few meters away from you so that's my overview of the two new cameras on the iPod touch uh, but I want to know what you guys think of it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe